Hello my loves and welcome back to the beginning of a new reading vlog. My book that I am concentrating on this week is Fool's Errand by Robin Hobb which is book one in the Tawny Man trilogy. We're reading this for Elder Ling Along and the live show for this is on Sunday. I have already started it, I'm like 139 pages in and I'm loving it so so much but I'm so scared of the emotion. <laughs> because you pick up a Robin Hobb book you expect pain and I have no doubt she is going to provide lots of pain as she likes to do. <laughs> So that's what I'm reading mostly this week. I also do need to continue my listen of The Travelling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arakawa. Again, another one I've been procrastinating on because I'm scared of emotion, although I have been told I should be okay. And it's like happy, nice, bittersweet emotion, I think, towards the end of this book. So I have been listening to the audiobook of this, which I'm really enjoying. And I shall continue to listen to this whilst I probably continue to physically read this one. <laughs> but today is a Sunday and Massey and I are going to venture out into Edinburgh. I've not been out into like Old Town for a while or like just the other side of Edinburgh really so we're gonna go have a wander we might pop into a bookshop or two hopefully because they are now open and yeah I'm gonna take you along with me <laughs> and seeing as this is the first time in a long time that I haven't worn sweats or pajama bottoms thought I'd document my little outfit of the day I am still breaking in these docks so I am a little bit concerned but it's fine so yeah fit of the day wearing a dress and everything not used to this <laughs> my dudes i feel like i haven't said that in so long <laughs> when was the last time i did an update on a wednesday god knows but hey just popping in to say that i've read a little bit more of this and the pain has lessened somewhat but i only have this much left i've made it like 400 pages in although this edition does have like 660 pages still got a while to go for her to hurt me <laughs> there has been some intense scenes in this but it has like i said got a little bit easier although is she lulling me into a false sense of security and is she going to destroy me at the end let's see so the plan for this evening is that i'm going to be joining the hob party of pain that we have going on because myself becca ashley and jade are all reading this book so we thought we might as well read it all together and support each other through it and then afterwards we're all gonna go get group therapy <laughs> No, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I have a feeling it's not gonna be fine, but it is the first book in this trilogy. So like, stay hopeful, stay hopeful, stay positive. Oh, there is one thing in particular I'm really enjoying about this book though, and it can be summed up in one glorious word. That word being cats. <laughs> Cause cats make everything better. And I've been waiting to see if we'd have some interaction with cats. And it's not what I expected, but it's, it's, still, it's still cats. <laughs> I will say that this actually has been reading quicker to me than the others. Um, thus far that I've read for Elderling Along but that may just be because I already know the world and the characters really well from Farsia. Um The plot is not what I expected but I don't mind it. I'm intrigued to see how this will go. I'm excited to talk about this one with the ladies on the live stream which is going to be happening real soon so gonna go and then hopefully the next time you see me I won't be crying. Oh, this week is gonna be hard on the emotions I think. But cats! Hey babes, it's now Saturday. 
just gonna rename you Damien at this point, Cat. Hi. So I, I'll just wait for you, shall I? Okay, trying this again, hi. I need to talk to you about this book, ouch. But first, I'm going to talk about something joyful because, ouch. I received another box of joy in the post today. And by box of joy, I mean owl crate boxes. So, I completely forgot to, oh, I meant to unbox um, this one in the last vlog, but it completely slipped my mind for some reason. But I now have two boxes of joy, so going to do an owl crate, well, a double owl crate unboxing. If unboxings aren't your thing, you can skip to this time um, to hear me talk about the pain. But I'll be unboxing both April's and May's boxes. Thank you so much again to owl crate for continuing to send me these. So owl crate is a book subscription box. If you weren't already aware, you get a new release and some bookish goodies. I am a rep with owl crate, so if you would like to check them out, they'll be linked in the description. And I have a discount code, which is just my name, which is Cody, which will give you 10% off your first purchase in a subscription. So thank Thanks again to Al Great. Let's open up April. I am never prepared. Where is my be happy? <laughs> okay, I have my weapon, aka letter opener. There we go. So this one should be the April box. I know which book is gonna be this month. Yeah, looks like it's the April box, which was Ruthless Rivals. Here's the spoiler card art. It's pretty. Ooh, the first item I see. I believe we have some coffee, some Fable Grounds coffee. Which is cinnamon and hazelnut. I don't drink a lot of coffee, but Matty does, so he'll be really excited about this. It's inspired by the magical competition in Where Dreams Descend, which I haven't read yet. And yeah, it was by Fable Grounds Coffee. I will put any social media links on the screen. Next, we have a little box which says etc on it by Alcrate. Oh, and it's a little game. So it says challenge fellow fiction loving friends with categories that were designed just for bookworms. Readers will need to rack their bookish brains to score points in this fast paced game of literary lists. Okay, so it's a really cute little box. And when you open it up, you have the rules of gameplay on this side. And then you have on this side, write your own list. And then you get a bunch of like different prompts, um, which is gonna be perfect for me because I can maybe use some of these for my TBR game. So like book titles with colors in them, for example, we got books featuring traveling and you have to just try and name as many as possible. So one word book title. Yeah, I'm gonna be scouring these. And if I find some fun ones that I haven't already got as prompts for my uh, Wheel of TBR, I'll certainly be using them, so thanks, oh great. That would actually be really fun to play with like reader friends too. Oh, we then have this lovely case, which has a couple of quotes and some art on here. So it says, the stars incline us, they do not bind us. And then Astring, yep, something in Latin probably. <laughs> so that's what the design looks like, very pretty. Inside, I'm guessing maybe like cutlery or something. Oh, chopsticks, we have chopsticks. <laughs> oh, these must be these Violent Delights inspired because we have a couple here in white that do say the white flowers on them, which is um, Roma's gang in these Violent Delights. And then these are probably gonna be the Scarlet Gang. Yes, they are. Yep, yeah, we've got the Scarlet Gang on the red and gold ones. My cat, oh. Oh, most chaotic unboxing ever. Tiberius. Please move. <laughs> Don't huff at me. You're the one knocking shit over. Why must it always be chaos? Anyway, these are really cute. I really like the idea of these. And this case has a really beautiful design on it too. So these were designed by Paperback Bones and were inspired by, of course, these Valent Delights. Ooh, next we have some packaging with a quote I know very well. History has its eyes on you. Hamilton, let's see what's in here. Oh, I think it's one of those things that you put on the back of your phone. Yeah, it has a phone ring on it. It has like a little pouch and I believe this to be like an adhesive sticker that you can peel off on the back and put it on your phone. I don't know if I'll use it because it's a little bit bulkier than something I would personally use, but I do like that it has a Hamilton quote on there, it's cute. <laughs> so the text was created by Lady Chubb Letters and you can conveniently tuck your IDs, cards, cash and keys safely away. So it is handy, I just don't know if I would personally use that. Um, next we have what appears to be some kind of scarf, cushion cover, something like that. Yes, it's a cushion cover. It's just black on one side, but it has this lovely design on this side. The quote says, conquer your fear and you can conquer the world. This is inspired by Nevernight and it was designed by KDP Letters. 
So yeah, that's a pretty design, isn't it? Which leads us on to the last thing, which is the enamel pin, which is inspired by the book every month. And um, so they include these every month, but a different design. And this is what this one looks like. So black and gold, very nice. It's a bit big though. I don't particularly like personally enjoy pins that are this big, but I do really like the little designs on it. So if you can see, we have like a book and a spider, a necklace, what I think is like a handheld mirror, and then maybe that's a waterfall, I'm not sure. But this was designed by Icy Designs, who I really like their designs, so. Yep, that's the pin for this month. And then we have the book, which is one of my most anticipated for this year, probably like many others. It's Witches Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart. This is gorgeous, I love the foiling. Ooh, we have a tree embossed on the naked head. Ooh, that's a cool spine, I'm loving that. And then we have art too of the characters which is really gorgeous isn't that pretty ah yes this art was by bloody damn it which i should have known that because it's stunning <laughs> the regular has some green elements whereas i'll create have just gone for black and gold and i think the effect is gorgeous this is a jamaican inspired fantasy about two rival witches who have to form an alliance to take down a common enemy sounds really really good so we have Araya adair who has spent her life in a cell she's heir to an overthrown and magically gifted dynasty uh, but she was exiled from her home on the island nation of Ica when just a child but every day brings her closer to freedom and vengeance and then we have Jasmine Cario um, who grew up dressed in gold with stolen magic at her fingertips daughter of the self-crowned Doyen her existence is a threat to her mother's rule but unlike her sister before her Jasmine has no intention of dying to strengthen her mother's power sworn enemies the two witches enter a deadly alliance to take down the woman who threatens their worlds but revenge is a bloody pursuit and nothing is certain except the lens Araya and Jasmine will go to win this game. I'm really excited to read this and this is a beautiful, beautiful copy. I should mention it also comes with a letter from the author too and then we have uh, a little leaflet that they include in every Alcrate box. We have an author interview, an interview with a vendor, um, some more like book recommendations, photo challenge, all of the things in here and then we get a little reveal for the next box which i have and i'm really excited to open which is expect the unexpected is the may theme and it says here that every box will include an officially licensed lee badugo item from out of print so that's exciting so april box what do we think what were your favorite items i really like the um cushion cover the fact that it has a zip is really nice as well the book is stunning um i don't know how much use i'll get out of chopsticks if i'm being honest because i am yet to master them massey can use them really well and gloats about it <laughs> but i really like this game i think this is a fun idea and also is gonna maybe give me some more prompts for my will tbr like i mentioned so always happy for that to be fair though i feel like i do have a lot of these ones already although this one though books featuring tournaments or competitions why is that not a prompt i already have see this is helpful for me <laughs> so i really like that uh, but do let me know what your favorite items were in the april box now let's move on to may so as i mentioned may's theme is expect the unexpected oh we have something big right on the top here what are you oh it's like a cord fabric oh my god this is cute i like this a lot it's a bag okay what's the quote it says may we meet again on distant shores that's really cool and we have it's got a zip with a little owl crate owl on it and the inside has like a nice kind of soft fabric it's a good size and we have like two longer straps which are adjustable and then two smaller ones if you just want to hold it like that so I really like this. I really like the kind of cord suede. I don't know what this is. It's cord fabric. This is really cool. I will use this. <laughs> this is the spoiler card for this month. It's gorgeous art as always, but this was underneath this. So I got really excited about this. <laughs> Corduroy, that was the blooming word. But this is Obsidio inspired. So Illumine files inspired. I think that quote comes from Obsidio. And it's a corduroy bag with hand lettering by Studio Kyra Calligraphy. Oh, okay, now we have the Lee Bardugo um, inspired item. So it's Rule of Wolves inspired. I think this is maybe a scarf. Yes, this is a scarf. Not sure about this. I really like the design of it, but the fabric feels weird to me. It feels a bit stiff for a scarf. I don't know if that's just me, but it could maybe like make a nice um, headscarf. But yeah, there's a little bit of text on there in the middle, which says we're all monsters now. Cute animals on it. We got a fox, we got a wolf, 
bird, etc. Nice trees. Like I said, I like the design. I'm just not sure about the fabric choice. Um, but cute. As I mentioned, that is by Out of Print. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. It's the next uh, collectible book tin. So we had a red one for Red London. This one's for Grey London. I'm excited for this. I really like these. I find these really handy. Ooh, this is pretty. So this is what the spine looks like. It says crowned captains, deadly pirate kings and queens, of course. And that's the design on the front. Very nice. We have, I like that they went for a lighter grey for the map. And then on the back it says stars Ruskin with a ship. This is cute. And then we have this design on the inside as well, which says I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still with the little map. I really like that they've started doing these. I'm excited to receive the black London and the white London one. Then I'll have all four. But yeah, super, super handy. Good size for keeping stuff in and they merge in really well on your bookshelves. Not that I have any space to do that currently, but that is the plan for when I do. These are all done by Forensics and Flowers, of course. And yeah, inspired by A Darker Shade of Magic. Y'all knew. I really, this is probably my favorite item so far. Actually, no, the bag is full. Oh, Okay, next. Oh, we got a sticker. We got a sticker. It's cute. It has a wolf on it. Immediately, I like it. <laughs> what does this quote say? It says, most myths are just truths covered in cobwebs. And this design was done by Lion in the Trees. This is really, really cute. I really like that. Okay, we then have something in here. Yes, we have a bookmark and it has a tassel. I love a tassel bookmark. So this is a really cute design. And the quote says, neither myths nor mysteries can hold a candle to the most infinitesimal spark of hope. I really struggled there. But this is super pretty. And then we have a different design and quote on this side, which says, hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator. Again, super shiny, metallic lovely okay so this features two quotes one from Scythe by Neil Schusterman and one from the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin and it was designed by Pixel and Ink Creative really like this and um, which then leads us on to the pin which is again by Icy Designs I really really like this one the quote on here says logic ends where love begins I really like that that's adorable and of course it's inspired buy the book which I feel like a dummy because I pre-ordered this and didn't realize that it's going to be in a nail crate box I now have two copies but it's one I most anticipated so I'm really really excited for it and it's the ones we're meant to find by Joan He and I believe they've changed the cover slightly on this right it's more lilac than blue which is cool and I think I'm gonna really love it so having a signed edition is really nice as well oh they've done a design on the naked hardcover too that is pretty love it and it has it has cool end papers it's been signed by the author of course i have read a book from joan he before i read descendants of the crane and i really really enjoyed it i feel like that's an underrated YA fantasy book that more people need to try but this one is a bit different because this one is more sci-fi based but featuring sisters and i've seen it compared to like if we were liars and a black mirror episode so i'm really excited for the twists and turns in this and i mean this has to be one of the most beautiful covers that we've seen from a book release this year it has to be so it's been three years and 17 days days since C woke up on the shore of an abandoned island. She has no idea how she came to be marooned or what her life was like before. She has only the rickety house by the sea, the android she built for company, and a single memory. Somewhere beyond the horizon she has a sister and it's up to C to ex escape the island and find her. A world away 16 year old STEM prodigy Casey is also looking to escape from the science she once believed in and from her home. The eco cities, Earth's last unpolluted habitats are meant to be a sanctuary for those from deserving lineages, <laughs> for those committed to planetary protection but instead they're populated by people willing to do anything for refuge even life. After a series of man-made disasters rocked the planet Casey must decide if she's ready to use science to help humanity even though it failed the people who mattered most to her. From Joan He, the critically acclaimed author of Descendant of the Crane comes a stunning science fiction novel with mind-blowing twists. I really really am excited to read this. <laughs> I know I say that about most books but this one I just have a feeling it's going to be a new favourite. And yes, to show you the differences in covers, the original has more of a blue-green tone, whereas Alcrates is more of a lilac, which I think was a really nice, like, understated change to this cover. And of course, we have a author letter that comes with it. We also have an author interview in the leaflet here. Interview with a vendor, more books that are in the same vein as uh, the ones we're meant to find. Photo challenge, etc., all included in there. And then we have the theme reveal and a sneak peek for the next box for June's box the theme will be go your own way which sounds pretty cool and then every June box will include an enamel item from pineapple Sundays. 
so that's an example of their work there very cute very excited for the june box as well um but yeah this box i really really liked particularly <laughs> the book isn't that always the case but this bag though is hella cute i really really like this and we got the next book tin and it's a gray one and it's really shiny so i like that <laughs> the pin i really like this design they smashed it with the may box right really really happy with that but do let me know your thoughts on uh, both boxes, April and May's, what were your favourite items? Are you excited to read this one and this one? Because I know I am. Do let me know your thoughts. If you've already read these though, I'd love to know what you think and if you think that I'll like these ones too. <laughs> I think I will. But yes, those were the unboxings. Thanks so much again to Owlcrate. And to continue the joy, I did get a couple of books which I forgot to tell you about because we went to Armchair Books, didn't we, at the weekend? And I forgot to show you my little haul. I only got a couple of things. And in all honesty, <laughs> I got overwhelmed. Do you know when you go to a bookshop like that and there's just so much there and it's small and people are waiting outside and you don't want to linger? Uh, yeah, I panic. I panic got these two. <laughs> I probably will like this series, but I haven't started this series. Series. So it's the first law series by Joe Abercrombie. I'm realising this isn't even part of the series, this is kind of like a standalone companion, I believe, I could be wrong. Um, but they didn't have the second one, so I got The Last Argument of Kings, which I think is the third book in the series. Yes it is, so hopefully I will really like The Blade Itself, which is the first book. I imagine I will, <laughs> so I saw these, I knew that I'd probably get them eventually, so I picked these up from Armchair Books. Um, don't know anything about the series apart from that it's super character driven and it's grimdark so we have torture scenes all that kind of thing and yeah I think it's a series I'm gonna really like which is great because I bought these on impulse I couldn't not get something you know <laughs> talking about grim so <laughs> I finished this do you remember that false sense of security I said that I was in? That didn't last long. I finished this out on Thursday night and I am, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm not going to talk about it fully here because we have a live show for this tomorrow night. So I'll link that down in the description where you'll hear all of our rambly thoughts on this. Because as much as I want to discuss it, it's going to be all spoilers. All I'll say is, ouch, and then I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm still grumpy about it. I have a bit of a book hangover after this. I've tried to pick up something else and I couldn't concentrate because all I could think about was what happened in this book. And although I love Robin Hobb and she did execute this well and I did come to expect certain things that happened in this book, I'm still not okay with this. So I still don't really know what my full thoughts are on this. I really enjoyed it, but like the pain could have been a lot worse, I'll say that. It did make me cry, not full on sobbing, but there were definitely tears and I have been grumpy ever since I finished this on Thursday. I have just been grumpy for two days. <laughs> and I don't know what my rating is because it's incredible because it's Robin Hobb. And there's new things in this series now which I'm really excited to uh, read more about in the second and third books. And there were new characters introduced that I really, really like as well. I just, I'm still in pain and I don't know what rating I'm giving this. Because I fully thought that this could be a new favourite book of mine from, from like all of Hobbs. This could be my favourite that I've read from her so far. But I don't know because I still need to work out my thoughts. So hopefully the live show will help me do that. I, I, just, I still feel a little bit numb from this. So I finished that and I really need to continue with the Travelling Cat Chronicles but after the pain this caused me, knowing that this is probably going to make me cry, not in the same way, I still I'm, don't know if I'm ready for the emotion but I'm going to continue listening to this this weekend and that means all of the books on my TBR will be read a week before the end of the month which is a huge novelty for me because <laughs> I have new books I would like to read uh, next week for uh, Do The Thingathon which is hosted by Ashley of course. I'm really excited to see what I end up with, uh, what I end up reading next week, but I need to finish this one, out, this one out first. That's the plan, but today, it's a nice day, it's the afternoon, Massey and I are gonna go out in Edinburgh a little bit, I don't know where we're going, we don't have any plans, we're just gonna have a walk around and get out of the flat for a bit. So I will take you guys along with me. It's now Monday. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I was in a super grumpy mood and I basically just cleaned the flat all day but I did switch around these. And by switch around I mean I took off all of the paperbacks apart from the ones on the end here. So I now have more room for more hardbacks when they go on here. Also got some more, well not more plants, just 
there's more plants up here. If you're wondering what happened to all the paperbacks that were up here, they're all stacked down here. I've come to the realization that I really am gonna have to order this bookcase that I keep talking about to put in my bedroom. Still haven't ordered it. It's because of the shipping cost. <laughs> it's because of the delivery price, but yeah, I switched around these when I was grumpy. Oh, and on Saturday, I got a plant, I got a new plant. So I have another snake plant now. I got this from Aldi of all places. Not bad, I like the pot that it comes in. Thinking of naming it Sandy because it's near the Brandy Sandy section. <laughs> yeah, join me on the floor, let's chat about sad things. The first thing being, we had the live show for this last night and we cried again talking about it. So if you want to watch that, it's linked down below. And also y'all, I've been listening to some more of this today. It's a really short audiobook, And the sadness is gonna, I know where it's going and I'm not, I'm not okay. After this, I don't know if I can take, I have half an hour left basically. So if you haven't heard me talk about this before, it's The Travelling Cat Chronicles by Hira Arakawa and I DNF'd this once already because the cat got injured in the first chapter and I was like, oh, if anything happens to this cat, I'm not gonna be okay. So I DNF'd it. I chose this using one of the prompts from my TBR wheel this month, thought I'd give it another go because I'm feeling braver and all y'all told me weren't gonna be that bad. I don't know if I trust you, <laughs> but it's beautiful. I am still thinking this could be one of my favorite ever books. Honestly, I'm loving it so much, but I'm scared. So we follow a man and his cat. This cat narrates parts of this. You hear his musings on being a cat and the situation and his owner. There's a man called Satoru and he is taking uh, the cat Nana to visit um, three different people from his past and he's trying to make them basically take the cat because he can, it seems like he can no longer look after it. <laughs> but Nana doesn't know this, he just thinks he's going on some, you know, adventure to meet some of uh, Satoru's friends and stuff. And there has been, it's, it's been interesting so far because it's not just uh, sassy cat hilarity, it's also some touching moments uh, between Satoru and his friends. And there's been lots of talk about this cat that he used to own that looks like Nana, um, that him and his friend bonded over and what happened there. And now he's gone to like the final person, it's his aunt, I think, who is visiting last. And I'm not ready, I'm not ready. This man loves this cat so much. And this cat begrudgingly loves this man so much. And I uh, don't have a good feeling. So before I finish out this vlog, because it technically has been a week now, I thought I would listen to the last bit of this whilst prepping something for do the thing-a-thon. <laughs> and hopefully there'll be less tears with this than there was this, but let's see. I am so scared. Spread's going on every single day of this week, so it'll be seen as around a lot. <laughs> um, but it's usually like a Saturday afternoon, like it's no longer strong and broad but thinning and fragile finding their way around my just checking in to let you know that i've teared up three times i've not even finished it yet i still have 10 minutes to go and it's happening and it's happening and my cat is here thank god my cat is here i am going to be hugging you so much at the end of that she's gonna hate me <laughs> but yeah let's uh let's finish this thing oh so much pain this week god damn <sighs> Well, I finished it, <laughs> and I would need to do the thing where I hold it to my chest and just do this <laughs> for about 10 minutes. Y'all told me I'd be okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not reading any more sad books for at least a month. <laughs> like, it's not happening. After these two in succession, I am done. I am so done. <laughs> New favorite, just like this one, five stars. <laughs> this was so heartwarming, charming, lovely it was beautifully done the cat was everything <laughs> maybe i can't do this right now <laughs> another case of i knew what to expect but it still hit me really hard because it was beautifully done um i recommend this to everybody especially cat lovers if you're a, if you are a cat owner or just pet owner in general i think you'll get a lot from this but especially if you're a cat person <laughs> i think listening to the audiobook as well had more of a, an emotional impact on me than if i'd have read this physically but this is just the most charming heartbreaking but sweet little book and you all need to read it if you haven't already also kaylee i forgot to say thank you to kaylee for gifting me this book you knew i'd love it i loved it i'm gonna be recommending this all the time so i'm gonna finish this vlog here like a teary mess because it's now do the thing a thong and i wanted to have a whole new vlog for that so yeah, I need to start that vlog now and sort myself out a little bit. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once more. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. If you'd like to leave a little emoji down in the comments, let me know you were here. 
this time it feels appropriate to go for cats. I feel like I already have said cats once in a vlog before but cats please <laughs> please leave me cats to bring me comfort. Bellatrix is asleep as well like she wasn't even here for me to weep into her fur honestly rude but then again very cat-like. Standard, right? But yes, please do let me know your thoughts on these books. If you've read them, did they make you cry as much as me? <laughs> Thank you so much again for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in the next one, my dudes. Bye, y'all!